Hello, how y'all doing this evening? We're doing well. excellent. How are you? I'm doing awesome. This is Erica Brooks. We're right here in uh, Mr. Vincent, Anthony Vincent's office in East St. Louis. Uh, tell us who you are and your position and tell us your collaboration, your, your, your partnership. Good. My name is Anthony D. Vincent Sr. I'm the uh, Director of Emergency Management here for the City of East St. Louis. And I have with me um, uh, not only a, um, a regional coordinator, but a great friend of mine. And he's going to take a second to introduce himself. Stan Crucius, Region 8 Coordinator, Illinois Emergency Management Agency. Right. And, and Stan, just to talk a little bit, uh, and, and, I, and I'm sure now you, you and I can sort of laugh, uh, but when we first took on this project approximately six years ago, there wasn't a lot of laughter with this. No, it's a matter of, <laughs> of being accredited, of meeting the statutory requirements to have an emergency management program. Right. As you're aware, there's training requirements, there's exercise requirements, there's emergency operations plans requirements, national incident management system requirements, a lot of requirements involved to meet uh, the accreditation guidelines in accordance with state statutes. Within the emergency operations plan, I see looking at the city, you, you address things of direction and control, of communications, of warning, emergency information public information, disaster intelligence, damage assessment, your evacuation program, mass care program, health and medical program, mortuary services, resource management, hazardous materials and terrorism and WMD. Understanding it is not a position, it is a position in an agency, but it's an entire emergency management program that requires full support from all layers of city government, private sector government, and non-governmental partners. Exactly. And, and Stan, you know, uh, people might not know it, but we go all the way back to 201. That's right. Um, and at that time, the city was a, was accredited. Um, the, the program, I think, three straight consecutive accredita uh, accreditation periods, uh, the city was able to just not go in and do what you call a, um, a renewal sort of thing for the first uh, three times. And then uh, some things happened. And one of the things I really want people to understand is that this process was now not a renewal. It was actually a program that started from point zero. That's right. It, it, this discipline has involved, evolved to the fact that it's not like it was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even in the 90s. You know, emergency management is a recognized discipline, qualification, certification requirements to address emergency services for the entire community, the residents, the government of East St. Louis. Excellent. And, and you know what's, what's interesting, um, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, we, we, we had some extremely tough times. We had some pull out had moments. But, but the thing of it is, through all of that, um, we, we accomplished the city of being accredited. Um, if, if you were to explain, I, I kind of know what accreditation is. Um, if you would kind of explain that, what, what would you tell the city that accreditation means? Not only definition, but what does it mean for the city? Accreditation means you have a recognized emergency management program. And that's a big word. For the city of East St. Louis. Accreditation means that you've uh, achieved meeting the state standard for, you know, a lot of phases of emergency management. You know, we have five or six phases. We're looking at protection, prevention, response, recovery, and mitigation. Yes. And that's the all over the encompassing umbrella of emergency management. It's more than just response. Yes. It's a constant preparation and planning cycle. Preparation and planning is the key to response and recovery. So it's a continuous, evolving process. We all work together, one team, one fight. We knew where that goal line was. We knew. It is just, it takes you time to, get to, to push the ball five or ten yards at a time. And it's not done in a vacuum. It takes all city agencies. You know, the council takes full support, all layers, from top to bottom. Yes. To establish and, uh, and maintain an emergency management program. I want to ask both of you all, um, how does this affect, in a positive way, the citizens of East St. Louis? Well, one of the things that, that you have to look at, if, if 
if you've met the requirements um, for accreditation, that means, number one, that we are recognized by the state. And, and we went through, as a city, those requirements to, to be recognized by the state. So, so when we look at, at our emergency operation plan, and, and Stan and I have been through this uh, many times, and, and he talked about these specific annexes. So that means that we have gone through these annexes and we've looked at these annexes as they relate to the city. So when we look at this emergency operation plan and we pull out and we talk about something like direction and control, well, that's, it meets the requirements of the state but the thing of it is, it's specific to the workings of the city of East St. Louis. So we look at our resources, uh, we look at our, our mutual aid agreements, we look at all of those things that are necessary to come together so that, that we can appropriately, um, and in most cases what they know emergency management is, as, as really is, more so response than anything. So that's, that's what they look at it. But Stan has explained that is so much more than that. There's a preventive aspect. Um, there, there's a mitigation aspect. So there's a lot of things involved in emergency management that now hopefully will come, will come out because of the process we went through in order to become accredited. But, but it does mean more importantly than anything that the city of East St. Louis is recognized by the state of Illinois. That's, that's awesome. So, so does you qualify you all for any grants or any uh, opportunities to be able to receive more funding or money or, for, for, you know, for help? Well, well, let me say this. It, 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 it qualifies us to apply for grants that at other times we weren't really in the, in the position to qualify, uh, qualify to even um, to apply. apply for any grants. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that's, a, that's a different thing. At a certain point in time, and, and um, one of the things that I should stand of is that through this whole process, I've walked with him, and we walk together. And, and, and when it comes to any, any finances or, or what have you that comes from IEMA, we're going to walk to that point as well. And there's a certain point in time that, that those things will, will, will probably happen, but, but I'll let Stan sort of explain that. Um, because right now, I really want the citizens to know that the city of East St. Louis did what it's supposed to do in order to reach a point, right, where they are now actually have now met the requirements of what the state says is an emergency management agency. All right. So I want to let you all know we have one minute, okay, one minute. And I want you all to tell, tell me, if you can, um, what you want the citizens of East St. Louis to be able to do in case they need your help in a case of an emergency, you know? Well, fortunately, Stan, um, Stan, Stan and, I and I have worked together even in situations where we didn't have this fully done. So by doing that, all, we do, all we've done now is actually beefed up what's necessary for us if necessary to respond, but I think more importantly to prepare. So Stan, what, 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 what do you think? When you look at it, what, in, in 30 seconds, what, how, how could you say this, this helps our citizens? It's a recognized process for all activities for emergency management. Let's take this direction to control annex. Look at the purpose of the, hey, read, this, read the purpose here if you would, Director Benson. The purpose of this annex is to provide overview information on the means the jurisdiction will use to direct and control those activities of government that are essential, essential to saving lives, protecting property, and restoring government services during and following emergency situations. 30 seconds. I want to thank you all very much, Mr. Vincent and Mr. Crucius, for allowing us to look into that positive side of what's going on in East St. Louis and also meeting the accreditations for East St. Louis and the Emergency Management Service Agency. Yes. Okay, thank you all thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank and you. this is Erica Brooks from East St. Louis City Hall and Mr. Vincent's office. Thank you very much.